the funny thing is, like, in a sense, I think, before, uh, maybe before Clinton, mm. the Chinese would probably even uh, prefer Republicans than yes. uh, to, mm -hmm. to, to Democrats, I yeah. think. Uh, that's but that's talking, because of Nixon. That's because right. of Nixon. That, that's but, an interesting dynamic. Well, yeah, go, go with that. Explore yeah, that. Well, Nixon, of course, was a right. big reason. Right. He's, 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 he's a Republican. Right. Exactly. And he was the, and that's, opened the door. And I've read many explanations of that, but, but give me your take on it. Why is that? Why would they actually prefer well, to Well, one is the Nixon history, and two is Republican here as well as back in po uh, back home in the U.S. has always been more uh, viewed as more pro-business. Yeah. So they're all right. about making money. Yeah. Of course, less uh, ideologically kind of, I guess, aggressive in terms of human rights, right. labor rights, and that kind of thing. So, yeah. so the Chinese, in that sense, would rather uh, deal with them about, you know, they're talking uh, doing the same business. language, exactly, pragmatic of, like, cooperation, other, right. other right. ideological right. issues. Right. Yeah. 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 Putting that into context, I would say once again, the, the Chinese and China in general would owe a huge debt of gratitude to the Republican government since President Richard Nixon. Remember in the cold, during the Cold War, I mean, China actually almost went to war with the former Soviet Union in 1969. Right. Mm -hmm. There was almost like atomic kind of surgery, surgical kind of attack on China. But then it was Nixon, it was Harry, Ki Harry Kissinger, that team who came over to China and said, we will assure you that the U.S. will be on your side. And that was a huge kind of uh, debt of gratitude uh, on, on the part of the Chinese people. People remembered him, and yeah. oftentimes, I mean, when Nixon was such a huge, notorious, bad name yeah. in the United States, but whereas in China, he was always the, 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 the old friend of the Chinese people. Yeah, yeah. So, so, but this time Obama is coming in a very different, he, although he's a democratic president, he's coming at a time where, where issues of strategic importance, trade, mm -hmm. loom much larger than human rights did. In the, in the 90s, you couldn't escape the specter of Tiananmen Square and other, other sorts of things. And then after eight years of George Bush, those things have been pushed to the side. So Obama, unless he actively brings them up with great effort, those things are already sort of off the radar screen, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So essentially he's dealing with China in the same terms as any Republican president with, with the emphasis on trade. Uh, That's right, but he's also trying to get some concessions, I think, out of China on these issues, especially on the economic and trade front. Right. Considering China now is the largest holder of the U.S. Treasury bond, and also the trade imbalance continues in terms of the huge yeah. trade surplus they enjoy yeah. over the U.S. But I think, you know, um, reading their joint statement and hearing what they have said during the press conference, it seems like the U.S. really haven't got gotten much concrete kind of concessions from China no, on these fronts. No, and they, and they downplayed it, didn't they? Come, uh, no one really expected much out right. of this. I mean, it's only two days. How much could they possibly have gotten yeah. done anyway? Did you get the sense that there was, that there was absolutely nothing, that they weren't even expecting to get anything hap uh, uh, accomplished here other than uh, clinking glasses, really? Mm. Yeah. I think they were hopeful, but they were also not surprised if nothing actually, you know, no breakthroughs yeah. actually happen. So, yeah. but still, I think uh, from the perspective of uh, the American people, it was rather a lot, lots of pageantries and a lot of you right. know pomp and ceremony. It was mainly ceremonial, right, right, yeah, ceremonial, yeah. The one moment you had the Shanghai.